Thank you for purchasing Gorgeous. So these are the main components of the system you just received. Uh, let's start to uh, prepare the system for the acquisition and then we are going to see how to use the software for the actual acquisition. So this is uh, a USB printer cable. So the USB goes into your laptop and this is the printer port basically and it goes into the spectrometer. Then we have the fiber optics bundle. This is made of two entrants here. So in one you see the label spectrometer. So this one goes inside the spectrometer which is over here. So we unscrew this cap. We put over here and we put this spectrometer fiber inside. So to put to use this fiber connector just slide inside the, the fiber and then there is a, this ring to screw in position, fix in position the uh, fiber. Okay, then uh, the other one is labeled lamp. So remove the cap and this one goes into the output of the lamp. So there it is, this one. Uh, so same thing, we put this one over here and uh, this is it. Then we have the power supply for the lamp. So we plug this one and uh, the power supply for the lamp goes here. We turn on the lamp, we see the lights coming from here for ventilation. Okay, so the lamp is working, the system is connecting, now we can go directly to the software. So, so you should have received a folder containing this material. So basically this is uh, uh, the folder of the software, gorgeous software. Um, inside there is the executable gorgeous. You just have to click, double click on it and the software is opened. Okay, so there it is. Mm, we need to click here run and uh, something you see is happening here in the x-axis. So we have already a curve. So the system is uh, probably working. Actually, we need to remove the cap from the probe. Uh, okay, we see there it's working. Uh, let's now prepare the system for uh, uh, the acquisition. So first of all, um, we need to use uh, this uh, probe. Uh, this is uh, the probe uh, um, for uh, an environment where there is a lot of light from external, like in this case, I have these LEDs strong to lit the, the system here. Uh, otherwise, you can use without the probe. So for this, uh, for now, we use this probe. So just insert over here and then we fix uh, the, the, the fiber in position with this uh, screw over here. So we can put on the table. We insert it until we touch the table and we fix in position. There it is. So to do the calibration, we move the probe over the calibration target. So we are here. We keep it in position, fixed, um, so there is no light leaking from the outside. Okay, there it is. And we look uh, at the so, and we see now the maximum of this curve is uh, about, uh, mm, we can read over here, 2000 counts. So our goal is to increase this count until uh, is uh, close to 60,000. So we go on the software and we look at this uh, tab exposure in a millisecond. So now the exposure is very low, is a uh, 10 millisecond, very fast. So we need to increase it. Let's put 100. So you see now the curve is basically at 20,000. 
We want to reach something close to 60,000, so let's put 300. Okay, there it is, perfect. So you see the maximum of this curve is between 50 and 60. So this is the perfect condition because basically 60,000 is where the system go saturated. Um, so that is creating a problem if it's saturated. You know? So we want to have it below 60,000. So our exposure in a millisecond will be 300. Uh, then what we want to do before we start is uh, we go in a box car and instead of zero we put 10. So you see this one is creating this kind of average, is a smooth function. Um, and for reflectance spectroscopy is a pretty nice when we can use this value of 10. Okay, so basically in general you want to uh, wait about 5 minutes uh, for the lamp to um, uh, to reach the uh, standard temperature, okay, so to stabilize the lamp. So con we consider already we passed five minutes and um, to do the calibration you need to click this uh, rainbow icon over here. The name is uh, Get Source Spectra. Okay, I click it and nothing happens over here, but the calibration has been done. At this point, we move our cursor over here, uh, and we need to check this spectra slash reference. So you see now, what we see is uh, uh, we have this uh, flat line at 100%. So this is our first uh, reflectance spectrum because you see the values on the y-axis, they go from 0 to 100. And since this is uh, this white uh, card is our reference uh, uh, white, our standard white, uh, we expect it to be flat at 0. Okay, so the system now is uh, basically working. We can start to do our examination. So just uh, mm, to check the system, over here we have three, four colors. We have a blue. So you see, this is the spectrum, the reflected spectrum of the blue. So the system is working. We already uh, have saved this uh, spectrum. So I use it as a reference to check everything is working. I can move on the yellow. There it is. And I can move on the red. There it is. Okay, so the system is working and has been uh, calibrated. Uh, once in a while, I suggest you to go back to the white and check that the curve is actually at 100% because there could be some change in, a, in the curve. So you see right now, the curve is there, but I can barely see it. So what I do, I prefer to change a little bit the Y axis. So I click here where there is these uh, rulers and the maximum on the Y axis instead of 100, I like to put 120. I click OK, then I click again Run. You see now I can better see the curve at 100% with its uh, little bit of oscillation, oscillation uh, its noise. Um, it's fine, so again I can go here on the blue, it's the same thing, but I have some space on the Y axis uh, for taking into account the noise of the system. Okay, thank you for watching the video.